Mario Balotelli made it two braces in two games for Nice as Lucien Favre's side thrashed Monaco 4-0 to go top of the early league on table. Paul Baez headed the home side in front of the Allianz Riviera before Balotelli's excellent strike made it two. The Italian slotted in number three in the second half. And although Alassane Player missed a penalty after Tiamue Bakayoko was sent off, the substitute did score shortly afterwards as Nice became the only unbeaten team in the French top flight. Four-time defending champions Paris Saint-Germain made it back-to-back -back wins by easing past Dijon on Tuesday. Adam Lang marked his Dijon debut by deflecting in Maxwell's cross for an own goal. And after Adrian Rabiot was fouled in the box, Edinson Cavani scored a penalty to make it to five goals in his last two games. Lucas Moura headed in Maxwell's cross in the second half to complete a comfortable 3-0 win for the hosts at the Parc de Prince. Bordeaux notched up their fourth league win of the campaign by swatting aside newly promoted Mess 3-0. Brazilian forward Malcolm curled in an excellent 36th minute opener. And Gaetan Laborde's equally excellent strike, an improvised volley, wrapped up the points with 19 minutes still to play. Mess substitute Moussa Saidi bizarrely brought down Yusuf Sabali. And Swede Isaac Tellin added further gloss to the scoreline as Jocelyn Gorvenek's men moved up to fourth place in the table. Toulouse maintained their excellent form since Pascal Dupraz took over as head coach as Ola Toivonen's first goals for the club gave them a 2-1 win at Lille. The Swede walked through a pitiful Lille defence to give the visitors the lead and although Marco Bassa equalised with a header, Toivonen struck again in the 78th minute to seal Toulouse all three points. Gangon edged past bottom club Lorient 1-0 on Wednesday thanks to a second half Jimmy Brion penalty after Faiz Selemani had unceremoniously hacked down Fernando Marçal. <laughs> Lyon came from behind to thrash 10-man Montpellier and end a run of three matches without a win. Morgan Sanson put the visitors into a fourth minute lead at Parc Oel only for Morgan Poati to be sent off a few minutes later. Bruno Genesio's Leon turned things around with two goals just before half-time, with Nabil Fekir equalising from the spot. Before Corentin Tolisso's header gave them the lead. Fekir grabbed his second just before the hour mark. And Toliso also completed a brace with a powerful strike. Teenager Maxwell Cornet rounded off a resounding 5-1 victory as Leon returned to form in style. Two late goals from substitutes gave Rennes a thrilling 3-2 victory over the 10 men of struggling Marseille. Giovanni Sio's brilliant lob put Christian Gorkouf's men ahead. <laughs> Only for Bafatimbi Gomis to level with a penalty before the break.
shortly after half time. Gomis tucked away fellow summer signing Clinton and Gis pass. As Marseille looked to be on course for a much needed victory. But the clash changed when Zinedine Makak was sent off. And Kamil Grzycki's penalty made it 2 2 with four minutes left. And fellow substitute Adrian Unu headed in a dramatic 88th minute winner. Saint-Étienne held on for 73 minutes with 10 men to grab a 0-0 draw at Nantes with Stéphane Ruffier saving Emiliano Salas' first half penalty before a string of late stops. Angers made it three wins in a row by beating Con 2-1. Billy Ketskeu from Fon's stunning volley put Stefan Moulin's men into the lead. And an own goal from Damien Da Silva shortly after half time made it two. Jan Karamar pulled one back for Con, but it proved to only be a consolation. Bastia and Nancy played out a dire goalless draw, with a dreadful pitch playing its part in making the game an action-free contest. The best effort saw Guy Rollon and Di Assembe save from Sadio Diallo in the second half. The standout result of the midweek fixtures was the Balotelli-inspired Nice's hammering of Monaco, while there were also big wins elsewhere for last season's top two, PSG and Lyon. That leaves Nice as the only side yet to taste defeat, and they're a point clear of the defending champions and Monaco at the summit of the early table. At the other end of the standings, Lorient are propping up the rest, while the goal shy Nantes are struggling, having scored just twice in the league all season. There's not long to wait for the next round of matches, with informed teams Toulouse and PSG going head to head on Friday night, before Lyon travel to Lorient and the leaders Nice head to Nancy on Sunday. <laughs>